reporting the tension or stay of the anchor chain. Sometimes you hear bridge, the chain is on up and down. Sometimes you hear chain leading 10 o'clock height. Sometimes you hear chain leading under the bow. Sometimes you hear bridge, the chain is leading 3 o'clock moderate. And sometimes you hear chain is on 11 o'clock very tight. The anchor party's primary responsibility is to promptly communicate any alterations in the anchor chain's direction or tension. When the chain becomes excessively taut, the bridge team should engage ahead the engines to alleviate the strain. Now question, is there a very tight condition in reporting the anchor chain? My answer is yes. If you happen to work with Ukrainians, Russians, Greeks, or Croatians, or any Europeans, plenty of them based on tension, not angle. Hence, they use very tight or moderate. Now, if you happen to work with Asians, like Indians, Japanese, or Filipino, we base normally on angle. Hence, the long stay or medium stay. Europeans use this too. But it's the Asians that used it more often. There are cases on board where people combine the angle and strain. For example, chain leading, 10 o'clock, medium stay, moderate. The basic idea here is that the bridge has the detail here if they should use the rudder or the engines or the thrusters if applicable. Maintaining the tension between up and down and moderate slash medium stay ensures a seamless process when hoisting the anchor. Rudder adjustments should be made to align with the chain's direction, ideally aiming to keep it at 12 o'clock for the starboard anchor, 1 o'clock is acceptable, while 11 o'clock suffices for the port anchor. Additionally, it's essential to report whenever each shackle is retrieved on board.